Today we're going to talk about calibration. We're going to calibrate these two outputs on the computer so they are perfectly putting out um, the right pitch uh, CV to control these two oscillators. So one will control the top oscillator, two will control the bottom oscillator. And the only thing you need to do this is you need your MIDI card, which is in there. You need a laptop, which is connected by USB up here. I've got Ableton running on there just to send out some notes. And you need a tuner. I normally use uh, my phone as a tuner, but I'm using that to film, so I can't. And it's connected up uh, by a cable to one of the outputs. So the first thing you do before you do anything else is let the whole thing warm up. So leave this on for 15, 20 minutes at least. Um, you feel it's very, very slightly warm from the power supply and some of the circuitry. Just let it settle. Then you tune this oscillator uh, to, what you have to do is plug it in, put a cable from the output into the square wave, make sure FM is fully off, and tune this oscillator to C3. Make sure it's not C sharp 3 because that would be annoying. So that is now perfectly tuned to C3. Now all the time you're doing this be really careful you don't nudge that fine tune or that big tune. When I was sort of practicing this earlier you're using this switch quite a lot make sure you don't nudge the two. So with nothing patched into there this is now producing C3. What we need to do now is find out what voltages are coming out of here or what effect this is having on that. So this is connected up to MIDI. Um, I'm going to patch this in and straight away you notice it's gone slightly out of tune because this is trying to put out zero volts but it's not actually zero volts so we're going to need to calibrate that. As we go through the calibration we will set this up so it produces exactly what we need there. So let's just see what happens without any calibration. I've set up just some octaves in Ableton. You see, four is about right, five is flat, three is sharp. So it's not producing what we want it to do. So this needs to be calibrated. So the way we do that, I'll stop the notes playing and I hold down this switch and tap this button. And you'll see there's an animation when you let go of the switch. It settles on that left hand side middle flashing LED. What these LEDs mean is middle means zero volts. And then top means two plus two volts. That means minus two volts all coming out here. Then the next one, this moves on to this output, which isn't patched into anything, but that will be giving naught volts there, plus two, minus two. So let's go back to here. Now we already know that this should be putting out zero volts, and we can see it's not because the note is a bit high. So the way we calibrate this, we flip that switch up, and then we turn these this is the course control here. Uh, so let's get that to roughly C3. And then this is the fine control. So that is now giving naught volts and we'll just group it back down. So now let's tap it down. So this is now giving five volts. You can see it's, sorry, not five volts. This is giving two volts, which gives us C5. And you can see that's slightly out of tune. So I flip the switch up and turn the fine control until it's perfectly in. Flip the switch back down. Now I tap it again and you can see um, minus two volts, which gives you C1, is quite out of tune. So we flip the switch up. And there it is. So 
So now if we cycle back round, zero is giving C3, plus, five, plus two is giving C5, minus two is giving C1. So that is now perfectly in tune with this oscillator. What I will do now, I flip this across, and I'm now listening to the bottom oscillator. So I'll unplug that, tune this bottom oscillator to C3. So we just repeat the whole process. And again, I put the second voltage into there. You can see it's almost in, but it's a little bit off. So we can tune that. So that's zero volts. Lock that in. Now it goes up to to plus two volts, which gives us C5, that's off. To use the fine tune for this one. Or even the coarse tune. It's important when you're doing this, obviously, to check you really are tuning to the uh, point you want. If you accidentally tune the top note to like C sharp or something, it obviously won't work. We'll just lock in this one. Responds a bit more slowly with a very low note, C1. So that is now calibrated. I just press reset. It goes back to normal MIDI. Uh, let me set it back to channel one. And we'll see how these octaves are. You can see they are now perfectly in tune. Wasn't that fun? <laughs>